Yeah, well, we're excited about the year coming up. You know, I think our schedule really helps us in another great slate of top 20 teams, we think, as we always have, you know, opening up with your sinus at our place. You know, uh, they're not preseason ranked, but they really should be. Uh, they're an excellent team, and we know that, and they've beaten us the last two times, so we'll be ready for that. And then Colorado College had a great year last year, ended up in the top 10, and then going to Gettysburg, who's got all their guys back from a year ago. They weren't here. They'll be very good. Then Denison, who's always traditional, a top 20 team, and then taking on Dickinson and Franklin and Marshall in the Mustang Classic, which is really uh, the best tournament in the country, we think, right now. And we have 10 great teams coming in for that weekend. And it's really going to be great to have fans back in, <laughs> back there and having everybody here to really get that atmosphere again. We've missed it the last few years. And to get that tournament back online and really a staple of the Division Three landscape, uh, we couldn't be more excited to get everybody back. And we hope you have a great weekend uh, for that, which we think we will. But we're just excited. That schedule really sets us up well, we think, for our, our conference schedule. And then we also have another non-contest game in there uh, against Stevens Tech uh, going forward. So we're happy with that, but we know our conference schedule is going to be tough as well. You know, York had a great year last year. They got a lot of their guys back. Uh, so, you know, they're going to be really tough. Uh, we were able to split with them last year, but uh, hopefully um, we'll have a little more success this year. And then, you know, we, we think, you know, Eastern came up really big last year. They were really good. They got a lot of their guys back as well. And we know Widener is going to be good as well. So, you know, those are four really teams in the conference that this makes us one of the tougher conferences in the country, we think. So it's going to be a great schedule. And we have 11 home games, so it's going to be a lot of fun getting to play a lot of those games in Mustang Stadium for sure. Uh, well, I think, you know, you know, being able to clear the ball at 90 percent, you know, having, you know, um, three uh, two thirds of our defense back, uh, you know, all of our poles back and being able to get um, you know, only having to replace uh, Magao is, is a big one for us. You know, Magao is a great second team All-American for us, but we think Ryan Quinn will step into his place. will do a great job in that aspect. And uh, you also have Shane O'Donnell who's playing great. So, you know, we, I think we'll be sell, solid there clearing it. Uh, shooting the ball has always been a little bit of an issue for us, but you know, you think we've really concentrated on that. We, you know, the guys are shooting 100 balls before practice, get another 75 balls during practice or staying afterwards. So we have to make the shots we need to make, then make a few that we uh, that we that we shouldn't, and I think we'll be all right. You know, the way we play, sharing the ball as a unit, and we play as a unit and not individuals. I think we're going to be real successful, and I think our guys understand that. We have a lot of young guys that are going to play this year. We got a bunch of freshmen that are very good that are going to see some time. We have some transfers that came in; they're going to see some time. You know, so everybody's going to be on the same page. It's not going to be one guy, uh, five guys watching one guy. Well, I think, you know, our, our goal is always to win a national championship, win our conference. That's the way it's always been here in my 18 years going uh, going on now. And, and But it's going to take us to play, you know, very clean ball. We have to do a much better job clearing the ball, which we did last year, which we think we will do this year. We have to be uh, much more efficient in offense and shoot the ball better. That's something we know. We have to shoot the ball over 35% in order for us to be successful. So we're count counting on that. And I think we'll be much more competitive. Uh, we're a pretty good facing off last year, but I think we'll be better this year, uh, being able to score more off the face off and being a little uh, stronger there uh, depth wise. So we have the three or four guys that we're really uh, excited about led by Nolan and Egas, who's a transfer from um, uh, yeah, uh, UMass. And we have another transfer named Dan Fisher from Villanova. So we think those two guys are really gonna do a great job for us in the face off to help us really be successful. You know, we gotta clear the ball about 90%. We have to shoot about 35%. And uh, if, we're, if we're able to do that, we think that changes, you know, just a two or three goal swing in every game in our favor. And so we hope that goes, but it's gonna be a tough slate playing those teams and we're gonna have to play really clean each week. And we know that.